I'm Stephanie and this is my September October combined favorites because it's way too late just to be September favorites and October is almost done anyways so let's start off with some fun things for the past four or five months I've been really into wearing bralettes they're just so much more comfortable than normal bras and I layer a lot and it's really not necessary to wear like a big bulky bra if you have tons of layers on I think so uh, I have a few bralettes that I've been really into I think my favorite ones are the ones from Urban Outfitters I don't really remember what the brand is because they always cut off the tags but if I find it online I will link them down below another really fun one is this one from Brandy Melville that has this really cool detailing in the back and it's actually really nice to wear uh, with a sheer top I know there's an issue like oh my god are my nipples gonna show but if you're layering there's not really a big chance of your nipples showing. These are just so much more comfortable to wear than bras with underwires, and if you can get away with wearing it, then why not? For the past few weeks, I've been really into wearing light, chunky sweaters. Uh, I just think it's kind of like the perfect clothing option when the weather is not super hot, but also not really cold. It gets really windy here in San Francisco, so it's nice to have a sweater on. Uh, I've been wearing this one from Choice like every day, actually. It's nice because, one, it's black. Two, it's kind of loose-fitting, so it's relaxed. Uh, and it also has a really cool shredding detail in the back, so it has some interest. And I also really like that it covers my booty because if I'm wearing leggings, you know, I just like I just like to have my butt covered. I've been wearing these kind of sweaters a ton. They're just like the perfect clothing option. I love it. A lip look that I've been wearing a lot lately is this ombre-ish lip look that I'm wearing right now. It's a combination of two lip liners and one lipstick and these are actually all from MAC which is surprising because I don't own that much MAC stuff. I first lined my lips with this color called Brick which is a, a fairly deep red and then I go in with the classic Ruby Woo. It's a lipstick I love so much and as you can see um, I'm almost at the end of this bullet and then I go in at the very corners of my lips and kind of smudge it in with this color called burgundy which is uh, a burgundy color this look kind of makes your lips appear a lot larger than they are which is nice because you darken the corners and the front of your lips are just like really bright it's a fairly easy concept to grasp but if y'all are into me showing you how I do it I would definitely make um, a video so comment down below if you want to see that video I realized for a while that my eyebrows have been a bit too red toned with the Benefit Browsings and so I went into Sephora a few weeks ago just to check out the Anastasia stuff because I had never used any of their brow powders before and I came across this powder in dark brown and I've been using it for a few weeks now and it matches my hair color so much better than Browsings. What can you do, you know? Make up all about trial and error. I kind of look at past pictures from a few weeks, so I'm like, damn, it was definitely way too red toned for my hair color, but oh well. Now I have the right color, and I've been really into this powder. I still use the wax, though, from Benefit Browsings. If you watch my brow tutorial, I pretty much do the exact same thing, except I replace the powder with this. And what's really nice is that it has two different colors, so I use the lighter color on the insides of my brows and then the darker color um, on the outside. So I highly recommend this powder. It's really, really nice. Uh, yeah, browsing is still really great, but I think just for my hair color, it wasn't working out. So I'm stoked that I found this. I've been starting to take a lot of baths lately. Maybe like once a week, once every couple weeks, but it's such a nice treat. I don't, I went years without taking a bath because I just never grew up taking baths. But now that I started getting into it, I went over to Lush and I bought a couple bath products and I've been freaking obsessed with this. It's only half of it, but it's the Rose Jam Bubble Rune. It's made with rose oil, rose absolute, and coconut oil. If I could douse my house in this smell all the time, I would. I wish Lush would make like candles or something. It just smells so good. And it's really crazy moisturizing. My body feels so nice after using this. And, you know, if you don't take baths, you should. It's, it's a nice 15, 20 minutes where you just got to relax. 
and be in the zone, put on some good music, and just chill out because I think we live some crazy lives. So, September, October favorite bats. <laughs> I started this next favorite, which is a book on my way to New York with Jen, and I just finished it. No, well, maybe not just. I finished it like a couple weeks ago, and this might possibly be my favorite book of all time, and it is. Steinbeck's East of Eden. There's so many amazing themes to this book. Uh, it has a lot of parallels to the book of Genesis and uh, it's just like a book of good and evil and living up to greatness or wanting greatness. Human struggle and the characters are all so distinct and Kathy's a bitch. I thought that this book would be a lot more difficult than it really was to read. I went through it fairly easily and I reread a few parts just to like you know really absorb it like the part with Tim Shell or Thal Myas. I'm not giving anything away, but you should read, you should read this book. Uh, it is a wonderful book, and I recommend it to all of my friends. Also, thank you so much, everyone who recommended books in my last August favorites. I wrote them all down, or at least I wrote most of them down. I'm gonna go out to this spot called Dog Eared Books. Uh, in my neighborhood and pick up some of those books. I just want to finish up some books I've already bought and haven't read yet first, but again, thank you so much for all the suggestions. I was so stoked on it. My last favorite is a snack. These Terra Exotic Vegetable Chips, the original, and this has taro, yucca, sweet potato, ruby root vegetables, batata, and a parsnip in it, and these are just crazy delicious. I bought these um, actually on our way to Harbin and we wanted a healthy snack. That was months ago and that was the first time I ever had them and now I'm obsessed with them. They're so delicious. They're kind of sweet and salty and they have a really great crunch to them and they're something different than regular potato chips. You feel like, you know, you're being healthy and it says a full serving of vegetables in every ounce. So they're vegetables and they're really delicious. I hope y'all enjoyed that September and October favorites. My Halloween video is coming up very, very soon. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at Soothing Sista. And also, I just kind of started my Facebook page, so I will link that down below as well. And I also have a Twitter. Let me know what you want because I don't really know. Should I be on Twitter? Should I be on Facebook? Let me know. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> Eat all these chips now. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!